and endangered. Officials say they see sea turtle shells at Miami International Airport. NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola is live in Doral with a look at the big bus. Jamie. Yeah, Jackie, here in Doral is the Wildlife Inspection Office. Believe it or not, Miami is ground zero for the illegal transportation of wildlife, including sea turtles. In this huge bust, criminals used chalk to try and disguise what they were doing. It took probably 100 sea turtles to be killed to make this illegal shipment happen. And that's a very rough estimate. Tonight, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Office of Law Enforcement put on full display a large illegal shipment of sea turtle shells intercepted at Miami International Airport. These actual turtle shells were uh, in transit through Miami from the Caribbean going into Asia. Sea turtles are considered an endangered species, and trafficking in them is illegal. Sea turtles are sometimes illegally killed for their shell, their meat, their skins, and their eggs which have a commercial value on the black market. In this case, the shells, also called scoots, were intentionally mislabeled as plastics and colored blue to try and disguise the shipment from authorities. When you hold it up to the light, you're going to see the most beautiful pattern that cannot be replicated. We closely examine the pattern, the number of scoots of this shipment, 1,400 scoots making up that size of a sea turtle shell. U.S. Fish and Wildlife worked with Customs and Border Protection to intercept the shipment. Now they're trying to narrow down the details of what they see. What we need to do now is figure out these species that were affected, the species that were actually in the shipment. 65 of them were determined by the wildlife inspectors to be Hawksville sea turtles. 35 were from green sea turtles. All right, now it is challenging for investigators to try and figure out exactly the value of what it is they seize because they said it's hard to determine the profit on the black market. We're live tonight in Doral, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News. Very